Hi. Um, okay, so we were working on uh, mitts, fingerless mitts, and this is actually a mitten that I'm making for my master knitter class. But I'm going to use this to show you how to go ahead and pick up the thumb gusset stitches and then turn that into a thumb. But before we do that, let me let's talk a little bit about a stitch setup. When you knit, knit stitches look like this. They look like a V. And you'll also have in the background, you'll have other stitches that look like a V, but that are upside down. And so every time you put a stitch on, you're going to have this V, but you're also going to have this V. So let me draw it just, this is actually a stitch. And so your V on the correct stitch is going this way. If you're looking at the ones that are pointing this way, that's the upside down stitch. So let's look at that on our fabric. Let's see if I can get it close enough. Um, when I'm looking at it, you can see the upside down V right here, especially where the red goes. But then you can also see the V that's pointing down. One points up and one points down. The one that points down is actually the stitch. This is the in-between, the one that's pointing up. So you want to watch for the stitches that are actually have the V pointing like this. The bottom is down here and the two tops are up here. Those are the legs of the stitch. So when we go to put our yarn on for our thumb, what you want to do is you want to take your mitt and turn it upside down so that the cuff is at the top and the top of your glove is actually at the bottom. And then you'll want to watch for those stitches. So see, these are my V stitches that are going, the V is at the bottom, actually the top. But when you're looking at it this way, this is your stitch. And so this is where you want to pick up your stitches. Let me see if I can put my finger in there so that you can see a little better. So this is actually where you want at the end of this where that stitch is. So I'm going to pull that just a little bit. Mm, can I put something in there so that you can see just a little bit better? This white yarn on white yarn is a little bit hard to see the stitch definition. definition in the cam. Okay, so there we go. So you can kind of see this is my V. And when I follow it the whole way up, there it is. Can, can you see that? There, there's the end of it. And that's where I would pick up my stitch to attach this. And then here's a V. So there is where I will pick up my stitch to attach it. Here's a V. And so let me see if I can get this. I actually did a um, a different kind of cast cast on to add this stitch. So I'll put it there, and then you can see the stitches, they'll kind of fall into place. When you look at this, this actually kind of is just an extension of this, but I will put a stitch in there just so that I can close up that little area. So let's go ahead and I have my yarn. Let me get rid of some of this for us. Um, I'm, I'm probably not going to do much. I have videos set up for May for knitting. I'm going in for uh, ultrasound and a biopsy on my thyroid. They found a lump. And so they're going to check that. Actually, they're going to check it the 3rd of May. So if you don't see me for a while, you'll know that I'm trying to take care of that. Um, I hope to get back. I, I really love doing this with you. So if you're just patient, I hope we can get back together and play some more. Okay, so, and you can see I have lots of little threads that I have to get sewn in. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take this out. Hopefully you can see what we're doing if I take all of this out. And just let those kind of fly. Get them out of the way. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually find, lay this down, and this stitch will actually go into this stitch. So this stitch at the top will actually go into this stitch. So when I get to this, I'm actually going to cast on some stitches. But for right now, my empty stitches are right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up, let me get my thread. I'm actually going to pick up, I want that to be on that side. I'm actually going to pick up a stitch right there, and you can use a crochet hook if it's easier for you, whatever, doesn't matter. And I'm having a little bit of trouble. I'm just cold all the time, and um, I thought I was having a heart attack, so I went to the emergency room, and they did a CT scan of my upper body, and that's when they found the lump on my thyroid. So thankfully, that was a good thing. I didn't. I, I do have a few heart issues, but not. it wasn't as bad as we thought, so I'm kind of grateful for that. Okay, let me get my tail, this tail, my empty tail. I'm going to push that back there. So I have one stitch picked up. So I'm going to go ahead and find my next V, and I'm going to pick up that stitch. Now I want to cast on three stitches. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my next V, which is right here, and I'm going to catch, catch that. And that will give me the three stitches that I need. Now, I'm just going to let that stay for now. Because I'm going to take the rest of my needles, and where I have my thread holding my, my working stitches, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up five on each needle. One, two. I don't know if you can see me do that. Three, four, five. That's one. I'm going to get my next needle, and I'm going to go one, two. I, th I don't know if you can hear the frog in my throat. That's part of this. It's grown very fast, so I'm a little bit worried. But I know that this is what happens when we get old. We fall apart. I would just, I would miss working with you carols and guys. Two, three. If I have to give this up for very long, it uh, I will miss you. I hope you'll miss me. Three, four. And here, let's pull this up. That stitch went hiding. And I'm just going to pull it. There's five. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and cut this, my holding yarn, and I'm just going to pull it through. Where to go? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I have all of my stitches on needles and the three that I picked up. So I'm actually, the tail, I'm going to put in my thumb hole so that it's out of the way and it's on the inside when I'm ready to sew that in. Okay, so here is the end of my tail, my working tail. It's right over here. And that means I want to go ahead and start, and this is a little futsy, with the, and I have the big needles, I have the size 8. A lot of times we work with size 6s, but I've done big needles because I was doing a lot of swatches. So I want to, I'm going to try and catch one more stitch, and I kind of have to futz with it just a little bit to catch that stitch. And so there we go. And so then I can start knitting. And we're just basically going to knit around. Now, if you're using um, circular needles, that's fine too. I really like double points. They just slow me down a little bit and make me appreciate my knitting. I like double points, and I uh, but I also like circulars. So whatever makes you happy, please do it. Okay, life is life is short and we need to be enjoying whatever we can. I know we have to work and 
I spent my life working, sometimes two and three jobs. And I'm really grateful to have this time to knit. My husband has has bought me all kind of books. I've bought myself some books because I have my own retirement money. It's been kind of fun. Okay, so I've knit around. I'm just finishing up the last thumb stitches that I had on waste yarn and I'm getting to the place where I've joined so you can see I finished that so I'm at the place where my cast on stitches are right here so I'm actually going to catch another stitch here And I'm going to put it on one of my needles, but I actually just want to knit that, knit that off. And so I'm going to knit these first two stitches together, the one I just put on and this stitch. I'm going to knit those together. Okay, and it does, it looks very floppy. But when I go to the inside and I tighten that, that, cast on stitch up it'll it'll look a lot better now I've knit that other stitch I'm going to go ahead and knit these two stitches together and I should have put those on their own separate needle I'm going to move these sorry to their own separate needle one two oh dog on it I dropped a stitch. Wasn't that just lovely? That's the one that I knit together. So there we go. Okay, so let me show you. I'm going to go and find, which is going to be a little bit of a job, a little bit of a chore. I'm going to go ahead and find that end of that needle. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a yank to tighten everything up. And there you can see I've tightened it up. So from here, you just keep knitting around as whatever your pattern says until you get to mine says two inches and then I'm going to start to down because I'm making actually a thumb I'm not just making an open thumb I'm making a closed thumb so I'm going to go ahead and keep knitting this but I hope that's helped you to um, we've talked about stitches before and how to see them as they are stitches and not the in-between spaces but I hope that's helped you to be able to know where you're going to pick these stitches up okay this is a very short video I've enjoyed being with you today uh, I hope to see you again soon keep me in your thoughts and prayers and enjoy your knitting while we're gone while we're separated okay talk to you later bye bye